Hey guys, so today I've got kind of a video rant slash thoughts on the situation with Keep Cool. So Keep Cool was mentioned alongside Purito in a lot of these sunscreen issues, uh, especially since Purito sunscreen was found out instead of being SPF 50 to be SPF 18, maybe SPF 28. A couple different tests. And a lot of people have been kind of questioning the Keep Cool brand sunscreen and kind of mention it alongside because it's a K-Beauty sunscreen. And similar to Purito, it only uses two filters, although they are different than Purito. Uh, Keep Cool also uses a different manufacturer. However, Keep Cool has been mentioned as just being maybe possibly too good to be true. So ever since some of these discussion started, uh, the Keep Cool brand has really dealt with this in an uncool way, really kind of threatening people, myself, and other small YouTubers, which I'm not a fan of. Um, I was going to wait for this all to kind of just blow over and then talk about it later, because I just didn't want, it's kind of gossip, it's kind of drama, but you know what, I just can't stand by any longer and let them threaten and harass smaller YouTubers, including people that I consider YouTube friends that I've worked with, including Mad About Skin. Um, so I just have to jump in now. I can't wait any longer. So why is Keep Cool threatening small YouTubers? I mean, they're threatening lawsuits and things. Uh, uh, in a, a sources uh, posted this uh, from Keep Cool, uh, they say, from Keep Cool. Through the spread of unfounded false information, Keep Cool suffered critical damage such as reduced trust and furthermore, Keep Cool's partner companies are also suffering such damage. Therefore, Keep Cool warns those who spread false information to stop such acts immediately and if appropriate measures are not taken, a legal representative will be appointed to take civil and criminal measures. You're threatening us to keep us quiet. And I don't think anybody's mentioned any unfounded or false rumors. Everyone has said Keep Cool uses a different manufacturer. They only do use two filters, but they are different than Purito. However, why don't you just tell us what the percentages of these filters are and reveal to us your independent tests? Why don't you just do that instead of threatening people? I think it would spread a lot of goodwill. I think people can forgive a company for screwing up because no one's perfect, but when your screw-ups involve threatening people, people can't look past that. And there's not a lot of small independent YouTube skincare channels. A lot of them have sponsored content or are paid for. There's not a lot of real independent people out there doing this. So it irritates me even more that you go after the small people, trying to get them to shut up and stop talking instead of just releasing the information people want to know. People want to know what the percentage of these filters are because then we can make an educated decision if we want to use this. I mean, we're not just talking about vanity. I mean, skincare and sunscreen is not vanity. It's actually a drug. It's regulated as a drug because it actually helps prevent cancer and illnesses and things like that. So when you're talking about this, you're not just talking about some vitamin C serum, whether it has 5% or 10% vitamin C. You're talking about filters and people with potential skin cancer, skin cancer in their families, or a personal history of skin cancer using something to prevent a cancer from coming back. And that's when I have to jump in. When you're trying to get people to stop talking, just tell us what the friggin' filters are. That's the biggest thing. Just tell us. You're, you're spending all this time threatening people, watching people's channels, and harassing them, and threatening to sue people, just tell us what the friggin' filters are. That's all we want to know. And show us the independent tests. That's all we want to know. That's it. Just tell us. And you know what? If you screwed up and it's not perfect, I could forgive that. But when you start going and threatening people legally, I can't forgive that. Sadly, I'm sad because I did like some Keep Cool products. I'll never buy them again. So, in my opinion, this could be the end of their brand. <sighs> Instead of just telling us, maybe you screwed up. I don't know. I can forgive that, but don't threaten people. That's that's where I draw the line. Threatening them in a court of law is no joke. Come do it to Minnesota from Korea, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, they're hiding something. And you know what? Instead of just telling us what they screwed up or what they're hiding, 
they're just coming out to people threatening them and that ticks me off and that's the stuff that really gets me passionate about this because skincare isn't just vanity it's protecting yourself from cancer sunscreen is a big deal especially in countries like australia and the u.s and skin cancers on the rise everywhere and it's probably a huge preventable thing but possibly when we're using sunscreens that don't work that's when that's when it really ticks me off so i could forgive that mistake but threatening to sue people i can't forgive that's all i have to say i'm done that is my rant for today share this video if you want i'm sure i'll get another nasty email or something so anyway i'm ready for it so i'm not i'm not a quitter i'm a fighter so i'll take it but anyway those are my thoughts thank you guys